What's good, Silver Game? Back to another reaction video. I'm gonna be reacting to Mia Bonesto charged with attempted assault for apparent on camera attack of Team New York C. I don't know why it's like abbreviated right here, but okay. My cousin sent this over and uh, we're gonna see what's going on. A little, little cute chica in the, in the thumbnail. See what's popping. So we gang, we finna blow out, yeah. So we gang, we finna close out, yeah. So we gang, yeah, we finna blow out. This morning, we are sharing more of our exclusive interview with a woman whose confrontation with a black teenager in a New York hotel was caught on camera over the holidays. Cell phone video shows Mia Ponsetto accusing 14 year old Keon Harold Jr. of stealing her iPhone last month. Ponsetto was arraigned over the weekend and freed on supervised release. She is charged with attempted robbery, attempted grand larceny, endangering the welfare of a child, and attempted assault. Well, we spoke with Ponsetto and her... So she's the aggressor. Hold on. What's going on, Chica? Her attorney, that's Sharon Gatan, just hours before her arrest last week. This morning, we begin where we left off on Friday. You seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone, and then it turned out... He didn't even have your phone. Oh, okay, so let's that's you, the thing. Do you I mean, you're, get to that you're, part? you're saying, look, because I'm 22 years old. You're 22 phone. years old, but you are old enough to know better. Oh, the hotel so I will didn't say have you're my... 22. Right, I Gail. get it. Enough. The hotel. Oh, she wanted oh, she's a little feisty. You are old phone. enough to know better. Oh, the hotel didn't have my phone. So I will say you're 22. I get it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. So. Maybe it wasn't him, but at the same time, how is it so that uh, as soon as I get asked to leave the premises uh, after I had accused this person of stealing my phone, how is it that all of a sudden they just miraculously have my phone when I come back? And the two, and uh, the, the, it didn't seem as if uh, my accusations really bothered the, the son and the father because they were just uh, enjoying a nice meal right after this whole uh, encounter. But all I'm saying, I don't know if you, Mia, is I, want I don't this know to if you could say what, and I'm sorry. Whether they were so bothered by your, I would love to your, make this short and sweet, Gail. Could, Mia, Mia, I want to go back to that day. Take us back to that day. We've all seen. Mia is uh, a little feisty, some, huh? But it sounds like you was being racist, Mia, from the breakdown of it. But even so, if the black boy did have your phone, right? You don't actually know that. So you're racist for even thinking, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't going to make it like it's a racist thing, but you know you was blaming on him because he was black. <laughs> In the video. Okay, so um, I arrived back to the hotel after grabbing some Starbucks. I had noticed my phone had been missing, so I just approached the hotel manager, asked him if he could kindly just check the footage. In my opinion, I was like, okay, any person walking down could possibly be the person that might have had my phone. I wasn't racial profiling whatsoever. I'm a woman, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm like a woman of color. I'm, I'm Italian, Greek, Puerto Rican. You keep saying you're Puerto Rican. Does that mean that you can't be racist because you're saying you're a woman of color? Is that what you mean? Exactly. Well, well I, I would disagree that people of color can be racist too. Do you believe that you should pay a price for this? I don't feel that racist too. Well, hold Do on, you would it? believe that you should so that's the boy. pay is a price hurt? for this? I Cackling? don't feel that my accusation is a is a is a crime. But it's more than the accusation. It's the way that you tackled him, it seems, on the videotape. What would you do differently? You said it's the way that you tackled Damn, shawty, this you? You was going crazy. Is a, is, a, is a crime. But it's more than the accusation. It's the way that you tackled him, it seems, on the videotape. What would you do differently? You said that you look at that tape and that's not who you are. I think I could have just asked the hotel manager. So, yes, I could have stepped aside, or the father and I. We, we immediately could have uh, started just speaking at a lower tone, and probably that would have handled the whole situation a lot better. With all due respect, when Mr. Harold was talking to you, it seemed to me that he was responding to you because you had accused his son. I'm saying that both of us, I said it, both of us. You see two black people? No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Bottom line.
Is this issue is much bigger than um, I think Mia is appreciating, and she she sees it as a very simple thing. Attorney Sharon Gatan sat with Ponsetto through the entire interview and wanted her client to feel empowered to tell her own story. But Catan also felt it important to provide context on Ponsetto's state of mind at the time of the incident. So let me just boil it down. She was a 22-year-old woman alone in New York. No one is with her. Her entire contacts, flight arrangements, Wi-Fi, emails, Apple Pay, her funds, her money is all on that phone. Why is she smiling and shit, emails, though? It's Apple not sitting pay, right with me. Her funds, her money is all on that phone. She agreed that her behavior and her actions were definitely less than elegant, shall we say, and less than graceful yeah, and yeah. less than what anyone else would do, and she agreed, and she wouldn't have repeated it. It's been reported that your phone was returned to you by an Uber driver. Is that true? That is not true, because I arrived at the hotel with my phone in my hand. Okay, who returned your phone to you? The uh, hotel uh, receptionist. Mia, phone to you the uh, hotel uh, receptionist Mia where had the f and the lie detector test determined that was a lie phone Ben why don't we ask the hotel receptionist M Mia to be honest I'm telling you you seem to be not remorseful to have no contrition that you're almost a little flippant about this you have to understand for this she got the added to teenage boy who says that he was shattered, who said that he was traumatized. This I'm is a traumatized. You're traumatized too because... Yeah, and I'm sorry. I had, I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. He is honestly... He, he's 14. And that's what, they're, that's what they're claiming. That's what they're claiming. Jesus, bro. Her, just how she's saying shit is just like... You could tell she don't give no fucks. Um, yeah, I'm 22. I've, I've lived probably just the same amount of life as him. Like... 14, 22, I live the same amount as life. Come on, bro. What is wrong with this chick? Honestly. I take back. You're not cute. You're not cute. You're not. I'm just as a kid at heart as he is. I feel sorry that I made the family go through like all of that stress, but at the same time, it wasn't just them going through that. I just don't think that you helped yourself by your behavior. Of when course When you not. looked at that video, what did you think? What did you think, Mia, you when already you looked asked at me the that. video? You already asked me that in the beginning of the interview. I'm not, I'm okay. not going over it again. I, I would like right. to I would like to have a real interview with real questions and real heart and real sincere real question real interview what she's living in her own world man apologies let 2021 be the moment of healing seriously all right all right what, what would you, you want an interview with real questions what would you what, I'll give you the floor what would you like us to know Mia that I'm sincerely sorry to the family um, and the dad and the son for making them feel as if I was uh, racist towards them when that is not my intention. Now, during the interview, Ponsetto kept interrupting her attorney and Gatan, Sharon Gatan says her client went off script. According to her lawyer, Ponsetto was prepared for this interview. They had talked about it, they had gone over it. But the 22 year old, she says, decided to disregard her advice she was given and just went on her own. Mia Pond said it was due back in court in March. I, I really felt for the attorney. We cut out a lot of it because I think you already get a sense yeah. of, of Mia Pond but there was a, a there was a very uh, interesting exchange between the attorney and Mia at one point, and we just we, we just decided just to let it go. But the attorney says, look, she's concerned about her mental health and her well-being, and she. She sounds like she's probably uh, got 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 a good case of uh, head up her ass, probably. Um a good case of uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, uh, narcissist? Uh, yeah, yeah. She sounds like one of those. Of course, wishes her well, and I could see why she is concerned. The uh, attorney worked very, very hard to try to guide her her client during the interview, and it just, she, you know, I think it's hard when you have a client that doesn't pay attention to what yes, you're saying. Yeah, I think that's very yeah. difficult. It's, it's difficult to sit there in silence while your client essentially gets herself in trouble. And judging yeah. by the backlash over the weekend. To the first part of your for, yeah. of your interview, it was not received well. Yeah, I'm not no. sure if she, Mia really understands the gravity of this situation yet. I'm still no, not convinced. We're, we're, once she was arrested, I think she, she probably yeah. figured that out. We'll but we're see. in the keep shoveling. <laughs> yeah, holes yes. getting deeper yes. stage of things still here. Yes. Yeah, it's sort of open mouth, insert foot, and start sucking on those toes. It was not. It was a very <laughs> tough situation. In our next hour, we're going to speak with the teenager. Hey man, Mia, I wish the best for you, but uh, you got to change your attitude, man. 
You're not about to make it with that attitude. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the conversation of what you thought. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Silver game, we finna blow up, yeah. So we game, we finna close out, yeah. So we game, yeah, we finna blow out, yeah. So we game, yeah, we finna close out, yeah. Making all these YouTube videos, yeah. You